Deceased, War of the Undead Gods, issue two. Tom Taylor, writing with Trevor Hearsign on the art. Uh, so we we saw the tease, of course, of the new gods uh, all succumbing to the, the zombie anti-life equation. But this issue, Big Barda and Mr. Miracle are returning to New Genesis after helping cure Earth to look for their son, only to find out that it is a zombie wasteland when they get there, uh, which is really sad. Uh, and Barda loses most of her hand because she goes to like, go into like a corrupted boom tube, which we later find out are called doom tubes. Uh, I know, but only the dead and like the undead can pass through safely. Yeah. Uh, living people can't, which is why I, I like that black racer comes out and stops her. Yeah, well, because our our yeah. hand that she put in like comes out and it's like just this 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 the skeleton. It's just her bones yeah. of her hand that's left. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I thought that was quite uh cool and fun. Um. Mm -hmm. But the big thing of this issue, uh, by and large, is that Darkseid and Co. are attacking Corrigar. And they're eventually yeah. going to go everywhere, but they're attacking Corrigar, and they send out a distress call, which obviously Sinestro and the Yellow Lanterns get. Mm -hmm. So they come in to, to try and protect. Uh, but Kyle uh, thinks, Kyle Reno, that is, uh, thinks that they're attacking Corrigar, so he like jumps in and uh, like blocks the blast and yeah. has a standoff with Sinestro before eventually uh bloody dark side rips Sinestro's head off when he shows up. Sinestro cannot catch a break, man. Yeah. Like dark zombie dark side rips off Z yep. Sinestro's head and then takes his lantern ring because it's like, hey, you can instill great fear. And he's like, Of course yeah. I can. I'm 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 Dark Side, bitch. I'm zombie dark side. Yeah. <laughs> and then oh man. Um yeah, the the fact that we got that Kyle and Sornik are official an item here in this universe. Yes, yes, they are married. Taylor, and that that was his father in law. I thought that that little piece of aggravation from Sinestro, I thoroughly enjoyed because when he goes to launch, because they, they he brings Warworld to to Korrigar because uh, that's where the the Sinestro Corps are are basing themselves out of Warworld here to to defend the home planet. And when he goes to launch the attack. Kyle stops it, and Sorenik and the Green Lanterns, and him just being, oh, it's my daughter and her husband, just five, was was really good. Um, and also, we, we have manifested this, you know, through this show, mm -hmm. Tom Taylor getting Nightwing. When can we get Tom Taylor doing a Green Lantern book? Oh, I saw you tweeting, the, try to tweet yep. us into existence. Yep. Um, I mean, you know. I need it. When he's done with one of his runs, um, yep. I would have no problem with him doing a a Jessica Cruz book, if, if I'm picking. Just a rotating cast. If you wanted to do a rotating cast, cool. I just, I, I miss reading Green Lantern. I'm just, I'm uh, always going to pick Jessica, because Jessica's my favorite, Kale's my second yeah. favorite. I'm always going to pick them That's first. Right. But, but, but even then, like, we all have our own favorites, and I, and I know a guy book wouldn't, you know, be for everybody, and we have plenty of Hal. So, even a Kyle Tom Taylor book. Well, you uh, you got you got a guy seen in this with him uh, talking about yeah. how we shouldn't trust Brainiac, and he he's, yeah. he's rambling on being because uh, because <laughs> Brainiac says he's a ninth level intellect. He's like, oh, I bet uh -huh. the scale goes to nine. He's like, no, actually, it goes to thirteen. And he's like, wait, you made up your own scale and only put yourself at nine? Well, in that case, I'm a uh, I'm an eleven on my scale, and my scale only goes to six, which oh, just, just shows how good I am. Perfect guy gardener, perfect amount of dickishness. Yeah. Uh, in there and i did love that and but i also like that's an understanding of brainiac too that he will assume 13th level at one point right like oh sure he's always building to it you know uh so but yeah i did love that and i love that he, superman points out you know up until last week i was part of the problem too yeah like, we have to have we have to keep hope and yeah, i like it, that it, it gives uh superman candor as a as yeah. a make good it's like hey yep. this is that's to show my intentions are, are honorable mm -hmm. here's a you know uh unluckily though uh, zombie supergirl is actually what sort of uh turns the tide with the yeah. with, with kyle and that um mm -hmm. so yeah. we we get uh like i said we get dark side shows up rips off sinestro's head uh mm -hmm. who says please you have to you know save uh <laughs> yeah you have yep. to save Corrigar, my dear daughter please uh and then his head gets ripped off it is yep beautiful uh as far as the panel goes yep. uh and then you just have dark side you know holding the the ring and the final page is him and his new yellow lantern outfit uh you you the ability to instill great fear of course it does Oof. yeah it does. I, uh, I i'll never not pop for that though because i just remember 
reading the John stuff, and when that ring went to Batman. Oh yeah, that and, that I, I always yeah. remember that part of the, the Green Lantern run because it's just such a like. Yep. Of course he does. He's Batman. Yeah, and it's like Bruce Wayne of Earth. You have the ability to instill great fear. Uh so good. Yeah, fantastic. So. Um, no, I really enjoyed this issue. It's really tight and focused. I love that it breaks down into effectively just three simple things. It's uh, the discovery of uh, New Genesis with with Bard and Scott. Mm-hmm. It's the conversation with Brainiac, and then the main thing is the Corrigar and Sinestro, and like the the, you know, the outcome of that. And you know, obviously, like the Green Lanterns have to scapper away because they can't fight this right now. They have to go and get reinforcements. Um, but you know, I I think uh, I'm you know I, I love all the building blocks. I like that this one's a little bit longer uh, than the previous yeah. ones to, to really build up the the scope of it and the scale of it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm uh. I'm into it. Well, and like, are we gonna get an undead planet, like, like oh. with Warworld? You know, like. Well, that's a good point. I, I, actually, now you've said that, yeah, because because uh, Sinestro was on Warworld. Yeah. And Supergirl puts the corrupted mother box. Yeah. Onto it, and it takes over Warworld. So it seems like Warworld is now controlled by the anti-life or mm-hmm. whatever. So, uh, yeah, we got that going for us as well. Yeah. Uh, I loved how Dark Side Zombie Dark Side looks quite cool. I think the extra lines of like blood or whatever it is on his face just make him look especially like yeah. demonic. Well, and I also like to think too, like to kind of like not to nerf him exactly, but I like the idea that when when the fear and the and the will were put together, they were able to hold the Omega Sanction or at least the Zombie Omega Sanction at mm. bay until Supergirl right broke that line. So. It did kind of show, like, oh, he is there. There, you can't beat him with enough force, but he just has numbers. Oh, so we have to go full Jeff Johns and have the entire Rainbow Core uh, together. Not necessarily the Rainbow Core, but just you know, take take Supergirl out of the equation, you know. But it's not just because I feel like the Omega Sanction normally that would have blew past that, right? Sure. Like, yeah. So, but just the idea of coming from <clears throat> Zombie, it's not as strong as it would have been. So. Yeah. So, no, uh, big stuff, big bombastic blockbuster stuff. Um, Tom Taylor's writing and understanding of these characters makes everything just have an extra little bit. He clearly likes them all. So, uh, what are you giving War of the Undead Gods issue two? I'm, I'm gonna give this a. Let's go seven point five. It's it's pretty. It's still pretty good. Oh, I was I was gonna go with a nice solid eight out of ten for me.